Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care. And in this episode, I would like to explain pinguacula, which is a spot on the side of the eye that is usually caused by UV light exposure. Uh, many people can notice this as a yellowish or yellow-brown type of discoloration over the white part of their eye, which is the conjunctiva. So, as you may remember from the eye model, the conjunctiva is the thin skin that covers over the surface of the eye. On this model, it doesn't show the conjunctiva because you can actually see the eye muscles which lie below that, but over the white part there is this thin skin. Now usually on this side, in this middle area, either say towards the nose or towards the outside, is where we see pinguacula. And when there is light or UV exposure, these cells can grow, proliferate some, and cause a small yellow spot to form in that area. With time and with more light exposure, this can grow and thicken, and occasionally does cause some redness or irritation in that area of the eye. However, most of the time, this is something that people may notice when they look in their mirror, but it really doesn't cause much trouble or difficulty. If it does cause some redness or it becomes inflamed, occasionally we may use drops to help make the eye more comfortable, including artificial tear drops or potentially steroid drops if it really needs it. Uh, but a lot of times we can just get this to settle down on its own. We think that probably this is related to a precursor or an early form of pterygium, which if you look back to a state of sight episode number 10, we covered pterygium in detail, and that's where this thin skin that covers the eye can actually grow over to the clear cornea and invade and start to cause more irritation, pain, and distortion in the cornea. Often our patients will ask if they should have the pinguecula removed as they think it is uh, unsightly appearance. I would say very rarely is this performed. Uh, occasionally in people that may be a model or movie star or have a great importance to the clear white appearance of their eyes, they may have it removed, but uh, most of the time in most situations uh, we don't do this because we have to think about the risks from the procedure. Although they're small, they're never zero, and uh, the benefits that the patient stands to gain from the procedure. Uh, but, of course, uh, there are lots of options. Options are open, so if you have any questions about pinguacula or the appearance of the white parts of your eyes, uh, please post. We'll be happy to interact with you, and we hope to see you again soon, next time, in a state of sight.